Hello guys, one more thing I wanted to add to this. I uh, forgot about the uh, diameter. It was uh, brought to my attention. Apologize. Also, I uh, wanted to show you the fillet. Um, there isn't any fillets on this, but let's just go ahead and add one. And uh, if I put fillet in here, and right now the radius is set to 0.5. Let's see if that, how that looks. That's too small. So let's go fill it and let's change the radius to say two. And that should be a lot better. Yeah, I noticed that these things got messed up. We'll fix that in a second. So really, if you see that this messes up, all you do is grab it and you touch the handle and you go to the point you need to be in. It'll correct it automatically. Same thing right there. Go to the point you're supposed to be in and it fixes it automatically for you. Okay, um, so we've got a couple, it's got some fillets and we have some radius. So what the question was, is this supposed to be a diameter or radius? Um, it's pretty easy. Diameters always followed through for holes and radius always for fillets. Okay, so we can just do like that. And touch this fillet and like that and so forth now since all of these are the same in most cases all you have to do is label one of them if these are all the same all you have to do is label one of them and do this leave that one there since it doesn't cross you just go right here you add on the end of that oops double click it go to the end and you're going to type in typical you can make capital now what this means is that everywhere there is a okay everywhere there is a small outside fillet it's always going to be a radius of two always on all of these now if it's not you need to label it and you need to do them individually but if I know that all these are fillets and they're all twos on this whole drawing, then essentially, typically, everything is going to be two. And don't be careful of what moves around. Okay, all that looks okay, looks good. Also, there's a little ticky mark. You see that little mark? Usually it's not good to have that. Sometimes it makes the drawing a little too crowded. You don't need that. That goes to dimension. Go to Dimension Style, Modify, and then if you go right here to, um, let's see here, where is it? Uh, primary, no, where is it? Fit. There's a thing that says leave a mark. Uh, where is that? Here it is. Under Symbols and Arrows, you notice it says Center Marks. We don't need it. Just say None. It won't do any center marks. That's fine. You can do that. Okay, looks looks cleaner that way. Some cases you might want it, but usually it just gets too crowded. Um, it also conflicts with your center lines and things that you call out. So again, thanks for uh, reminding me about that. I just wanted to show you guys it's the right way to do it. Thank you.